Well, hello everybody. It's not Saturday. Well, it is Saturday, but then again, it's not Saturday. Tonight is actually Thursday night, July the 25th. But I have a all-day commitment on Saturday, so I am pre-recording the NBC Game of the Week for this day, which was played on July 28th, 1973. Of course, the day you're watching is July 27th. This July 28th from Los Angeles, it's the Dodgers and the Giants. Giants lead the Dodgers by four games in the National League West. So a very important game for the Dodgers. On the mound for L.A. is Don Sutton, 18-10 with a 2-4-2 ERA. On the mound for the Giants, Jim Barr, 11-7. I'm sorry, 11-17, 3-8-2 ERA. In real world, the Giants won this game 5 to nothing. And the Dodgers committed six errors in the game. So they're certainly hoping that that doesn't happen here. I've got the game up on the computer, so I'm going to go ahead and score it as I play it. And uh, that way I can have up-to-the-date batting stats for you for all the players and pitchers and everything else. I figured since I'm not doing it live, I can do that. That way I'm not having to look at the computer screen for anything else. And... Uh, that's pretty much it. Ballpark effects for the Dodger Stadium. Singles 1 to 15 for left, 1 to 9 for right. Home runs are 1 to 10 for both. Pitcher catcher interface. Jim Barr is a plus 2 hold rating. Dave Raider is a plus 2 throw rating, which means we have a plus 4, so the Dodgers may be looking to run. Don Sutton's a plus 2. Joe Ferguson's a minus 1, so an aggregate of plus 1 on there for the Giants. All right, so I think that pretty much covers everything. Tabby is not here tonight, so it's just going to be hopefully a straightforward game. Dodger colored dice as best as I could get them. We will go with that. And I think we are ready to go. So Don Sutton finishing up the warm-up tosses, and he will be facing... Bobby Bonds. Don Sutton facing Bobby Bonds. Bobby Bonds on the replay is hitting 306, 18 homers, and 51 runs driven in. On the replay stats, Don Sutton is 11 and 9 with a 3.38 ERA. So we're ready to go here from Dodger Stadium. It is Dodgers and Giants, and I'll try to avoid trying to do a Vin Scully drawl as I'm in Dodger Stadium. Every time I say the word Dodger Stadium, I keep wanting to say it like Vin Scully would say it, but I don't, don't want to do that. I want to just be on my own, as they say. Here's the lineups right here for both teams. You can see that in front of you. Bonds, Fuentes, Maddox, McCovey, Goodson, Matthews, Spire, Raider, and Barr. Dodgers, Lopes, Buckner, Davis, Ferguson, Crawford, Garvey, McMullen, Russell, and Sutton. So that's who we have in this one, Ron Say is available on the bench. He's just getting the day off. So, And the game of the week's underway. 112 for Bond. Hit by pitch plus injury. So he could be gone on the very first play of the game. Let's check the injury results and see if Bonds can fight this off to stay in the game. If not, that could be crucial. If he is injured, he would only miss this game not any further time because it is an as-played replay. So we're just checking to see if we roll a 1-4, to four, he can stay in the game. Anything else, he's got to come out. He's got to come out. So Bobby Bonds is going to be hit by the pitch, and he, he will not be able to continue. So he will be lifted right away. So Bonds is out of there. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and just take him out of here, and we'll put a new, new right fielder in its place. So Bonds is out of there. Sutton came inside and uh, plunked him and uh, got him around the wrist, and he's unable to continue. He will be day-to-day. -day. So let's look at the – gives us a chance to look at the giant bench to see who they have available. On the bench, they have Chris Arnold, Dave Kingman, and Mike Sadek from the right-hand side, Jimmy Howorth, Mike Phillips, and Gary Thomason from the left-hand side. So – 
Bonds was playing right field, so who can they get to play right field? They have their choices. They have Jimmy Howarth. He's probably the well, he's best fielder, but he's not a very good hitter. So it looks like they're going to go with Gary Thomason. He's going to be a 4, E18 in right field. Not very good, but uh, if you bring in Howarth, he's only a 200 hitter. Whereas Thomason hits 285. So they're going to go with Thomason in the place of Bonds. And he is a 4 0 E18. So Thomason will make the appearance as a pinch runner. And of course, stay in the game to play right field. Thomason, not a very good runner as far as trying to steal, so he will not go anywhere. He will be held, but he won't go anywhere. And Don Sutton trying to shake that off. And that'll bring up Tito Fuentes. He's hitting 236, five homers and 41 driven in. Nothing on the havoc. Here is pitch from Sutton to Fuentes. 3-6. That's a 1-14 to single. That's an 11, so it's a single one star. And just like that, the Giants have two men on with nobody out. And Sutton in trouble early for Gary Maddox, center fielder. Make sure putting that chart in there didn't mess up the focus. At least we hope not. So we'll fix that if it did. Havoc roll, nothing happening. Here's Maddox. Sutton to Maddox, 6-9. That is a ground ball shortstop X. Nobody was being held, so it's ground ball shortstop X. Shortstop, in this case, is Bill Russell, and he is a 2E31. Possible double play if they can get the right numbers. 2 and a 31. That's a 20, so that's definitely a G1. No question about it. That's a 6. He's an E31. E31, there's a 6 right there. So they made six errors in the game in real world and just make one right here. It took a, what would have been a double play and turned it into an E6 to load the bases. So instead of two outs and a runner at third, it's the bases loaded and nobody out. And just snake bit are the Dodgers on this. As the usually reliable Bill Russell boots it. But again, the Dodgers made six errors in real world on this game. Now the bases are loaded with nobody out for the stretch. Willie McCovey, not exactly a sign you want to, a player you want to see if you're Don Sutton coming up there with the bases juiced and nobody out. The infield's back. They need outs. They'll trade a double play to get, they'll trade a run to get a double play. McCovey on the season hitting 252, 19 homers and 65 driven in. Sutton. 4-6 against the left-hander. That's not good either. 1-9 is a double. 10-20 is a single. That's a 9. It's a double. Two stars. So a two-run double for Willie McCovey will score Thomason and Fuentes. Send Maddox to third. And just like that, it is 2 to nothing. but Giants don't think they're done yet. There's nobody out. So here comes Ed Goodson. The infield will now come in. they got to choke some of these runs off. Sutton's got to regroup big time. He needs a strikeout in the worst way. 2-7, and that's not going to happen. That's a single. It's a clutch result, but they're not two outs. That's a single to left off the bat of Goodson. Now let's see if Maddox can score. Maddox was being held. He's a 16. Was being held makes him a 15. Single went to left. Left fielder arm. Buckner is a zero. So with nobody out... With nobody out, actually, Max is going to score automatically from third, but it's McCovey we're looking at. He's only an eight. Now he's going to hold big time. So McCovey holds at third. But scoring from from third is Maddox. And it's 3 nothing, And there's still nobody out. And that'll bring up the Sarge, Gary Matthews. Nightmare of a start for Don Sutton. And feel back for the double play. 
6-7, and that's a ground ball third base A, and they will get that double play, 5-4-3. The run will score, but they'll get the two outs. McCovey will score on the ground ball double play, but at least that takes care of everything else. Now there's two outs, bases empty. It's four runs, 4 nothing, in favor of the Giants, but that should be where it ends because now there's two outs and the base is empty for Chris Spire. 2-9, and he struck him out to end the inning. So Sutton definitely definitely not his A game right there. For the Giants, they get four runs. And the, the big error was a, a big part of that. They do it on three hits. There was a hit batter, an error, and three singles, or three base hits, rather. So it is the Giants four and the Dodgers coming to bat. And Gary Thomason will now assume his duties in right field. And Jim Barr is going to come out, and he's got a huge lead to work with. Four-nothing lead. Davy Lopes is your batter. Leading things off for the Dodgers. Five-eight, and that's a fly to center. One away. And Lopes is retired fairly easily. That'll send up Billy Buck, left fielder. 310, that's a ground ball to short. Spire handles it, no problem. Two up and two down, and that's going to send up Willie Davis. One eight, and that's a one to thirteen home run, but that's a fourteen, so it will be a triple for Willie Davis. However, it's a two out triple, so they're still going to need an error or a hit of some sort to score the run or a wild pitch or something like that. So here is Ferguson. Nothing on the havoc. Ferguson against Barr. Three eleven, and he's going to hit a ground ball to short. And he's going to be an injury check on Ferguson. Ground ball shortstop B with an injury. So Ferguson is out. But to add insult to injury, he could be uh, gone from this game. So we'll check the injury results in the chart. Nothing doing for the Dodgers. We at the end of one, it's 4 nothing. Now we're checking to see if Ferguson can stay in the game. He needs a 1-4 to four to do so. He does not. He's going to come out of the game as well. So Ferguson, he's going to leave. And the Dodgers will need a new catcher. And the only catcher on the roster, the only other catcher on the roster, I should say, is Chris Canazero. So it's going to be, have to be Canazero. They have nobody else to catch. So tough times here as Ferguson is gone and Canazero is on to catch. So I need to put that in the computer that Canazero is now your new catcher. For Ferguson. All right, so Ferguson is out of there, so we're going to, since he only had one at bat, we're going to go ahead and take him out of there and put in the ratings of Canna Zero because he's got to carry the load the rest of the way. He is a three with a plus one arm and an E7. All right. So Sutton was plus two. He's a plus one. So now it's a plus three on that side of the house. So Canna Zero will be the catcher going forward. But as of now, we've played one complete. It's the Giants four, Dodgers nothing. And Sutton will try to, and the Dodgers both will try to regroup. Dave Rader is going to lead it off for the Giants. 6 10 against the lefties. Ground ball shortstop X, that's Bill Russell. He's already made one error. He's a 2 e 31. 2 and a 9, he'll get to that. 2 and a 9 is a G2. Base is empty, doesn't really matter. That's a 9. E31 and a 9. There is no 9, so it's a good play for Bill Russell. 
one away, and that's going to bring up the pitcher, Jim Barr. And he is using pitcher hitting card number two. Pitcher hitting card number two. So Sutton's hoping by facing the bottom of the order he can get through this rather quickly. Two eight, I'm sorry, two seven, and that's a strikeout. We're out number two. Flip the order over now to Thomason. His first at bat, he came into the game for the injured Bobby Bonds. This will be his first time at bat. 6'10", ground ball shortstop X again. Again, it's Bill Russell, 2E31. He's getting tested early and often. 2 and 11, he'll get to that. That's going to be a G2. Actually, G1. Nobody's on base, so it doesn't matter. That's a 6, though, and he's already made an error on a 6, and he's made it again on a 6. Second error of the game on Bill Russell. And again, the Dodgers had six in real world on this game. Russell may have had two of them himself. I'm not sure. But they did have six total errors in the game. And Thomason will not be held at first base. With two outs, here comes Tito Fuentes. Fuentes singled his last time up. 1-8, and he's going to hit a ground ball to second that's going to end the inning. So, no runs, no hits, one error, and one left. We go to the bottom of the second. Still 4 nothing Giants, but the Dodgers are still in the game. Despite that rough first inning, they have the team that can certainly put up some runs. So, Willie Crawford will lead it off. You know, since I've been, I got away from the computer doing their averages, let me get back to doing their averages. Willie Crawford hitting 345, 10 homers, 43 driven in. I don't know why I got away from doing that, but I did. 110, he's going to get the ground ball to first. And Mr. McCovey will stretch to first base and make the play. One down for Steve Garvey. And Garvey. Is hitting two. Th I'm sorry, 331, five homers, 22 runs driven in, and 142 at bats. 3-8, and that is a single. F I'm sorry, that's 2-8. 3-8 is a ground ball back to Bar for out number two. So right now, Jim Barr is having success. The Dodgers are not passing their bar exam right now. Here's Ken McMullen. McMullen, part-time player in 44 at bats. He's hitting 205. Does have four homers and ten driven in. Six, seven, and that's a ground ball second base X. We're looking at second baseman Fuentes. He's a 2E6. Two and a 14, he'll get to that all day long. A two and a 14 is going to be a G1. That's a four, and he's an E6, and there's a three there, but no four, so it's good play by Fuentes, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for Jim Barr. So two innings are in the books. It's still 4 nothing favor of the Giants. Don Sutton coming back out. He'll be facing Gary Maddox. Maddox reached on one of the Bill Russell errors in the first inning. And in case I didn't give his numbers, Maddox is hitting 353, five homers, 53 driven in. He hit 319 on the season, but right now he's killing it at 353. 3 5, and that's another single. So Maddox continues his hot hitting. The hit parade continues. That's going to send up McCovey. 255, 19 homers, 16, 67 driven in, rather. Sutton, nothing on the havoc. Here's McCovey. 6-6 six, six against the lefty. That's a fly to center. And that'll be hauled in out there by Willie Davis for out number one. That'll send up center fielder Willie Davis hitting 320. I'm sorry, Ed Goodson, rather, third baseman. Ed Goodson hitting 320. 12 homers and 57 driven in. Sutton 
6-2 is a split chance. Well, this doesn't make any sense. It's a split chance with a single here, but it's a line out here at second. But it doesn't say what the numbers are. So I'm going to see if the computer will tell me that. Go to, to uh, let's go to, uh, let me change the options on this to dice mode so I can see the cards on the viewer. And we'll see if, uh, what Sutton has here. Six, three. It's got two as a single. Anything else is a line out. So, okay, that's what it is. There's a two there. It's a single. Anything else is a line out to second. Okay, that's what it is. It looked funny because it just had that one number there, but I confirmed it with the computer. It is a two. So, therefore, that is a line out to second base. Very strange how they did that. Two is a single, and anything else is a line out to second. So, two down for Gary Matthews, the Sarge. He's hitting 320. I'm sorry. No, he's not. That was Goodson. Didn't put his at-bat in the computer. Here we go. Now we got Sarge. He's hitting 323. 13 homers, 57 driven in. He's hit 13 home runs already in 334 at-bats. He only had 12 real world in 540. So the Giants have just been killing it in the replay. Sutton, 4-5. And that's a 1-7 to seven homer. That's an 8. That'll be a double. For Gary Matthews, now we'll see if the run can score. Maddox runs at a 16. He was being held, makes him a 15. But with two outs, it becomes a 17. Assumed to go to center. That's a minus one for a 16. So one to 16, they got to try to throw him out. They're already down 4 nothing. They can't afford to let another run in. they got to take the gamble, and it does not pay off. That's going to score. The runner, Gary Maddox, and Matthews will take third on the throw. So it's an RBI double for Gary Matthews. Two-out RBI double makes it 5 nothing, And that'll send up Chris Spire, shortstop. Spire hitting three, 223, five homers, 39 driven in. Two outs and a runner at third, the Sarge. 2-5, and that's a walk, so the troubles for Sutton continue. Now he's got to get the number eight hitter, Dave Rader, out. Rader hitting 231, seven homers, 51 driven in. Sutton to Rader. 5-9, that's a ground ball to second to finally end the inning. Fortunately, for the if you're the Dodgers, you only gave up one run. And at the end of two and a half, it is 5-0 Giants. Sutton's fatigue is nine innings, but he's, if he gives up six runs, he will come fatigued. And he's around that borderline. Jim Barr, most of the Giants have hit twice already. Bill Russell hasn't is just coming up for his first at bat. That tells you how bad it is. Bill Russell hitting 294, four homers, 49 driven in. And if I didn't give Jim Barr's number, he's 10 and 7 with a 379 ERA in the replay. 1-5, and that's a ground ball right back to the pitcher. So Russell, a meek ground ball. And the Dodgers are in danger of falling five games behind. Here's Don Sutton. Computer does not give his batting stats cumulative, so... Not sure what he's hitting. 3-5 against Barr, and that's a ground ball to short. So Barr has the ground ball working big time. Only one out has been in the outfield, and that's the uh, leadoff center field fly out by Lopes. Everything else has been, a, except for the Davis triple, everything else has been a ground out. So with two outs and the base is clear, here's Lopes hitting 280, six homers, 28 driven in. 3-6 for Lopes. That's a single to center field. 
So Lopes finally gets a base hit. Only the second hit for the Dodgers in the game. He will be held, but down 5-0. I'm not sure if they're going to try anything. Although it is a plus 4, so maybe they, they can get him in a score, but maybe they just need to start something. You know, Sometimes you just need to kickstart something. Wake up out of your slumber. So he's going to try to get the lead. Needs a 2 through 6 or a 12. Oop. And a 3, he gets the lead. So he gets the lead. It's a 17. Minus 2 for being held is a 15. But then you add 4 there, it's a 19. So 1 to 19. And he's in there. And he is. It's a possible throwing error now on Raider. He's in his T rating. Mr. Raider's T rating is 6. That's a nine, so there's no there's no uh, throwing error, but it's a stolen base for Davy Lopes. He is in scoring position now with two outs, so a base hit by Buckner. It, you don't need an extra base hit; just need a single, and Lopes would score unless he gets a one star single. Anything else, he's going to score pretty much automatically. Bar one four. That's a ground ball to first, and that's going to end the inning. So. Lopes trying to help out, but all did not come to any kind of help. Nothing for the Dodgers after three innings of play. It's still 5 nothing Giants. And Sutton teetering on being removed from the game due to ineffectiveness. we facing Jim Barr. Barr struck out his first time. 4-9. He's going to strike out again. So, good start there for Sutton, but he's got to get through the rest of the guys, and his defense has got to hold up. 2-8, and that's a 1-6 to six home run. That's an 11, though. It's a fly to left, and that is hauled in out there by left fielder Buckner for out number 2. What Sutton needs big time is that one, two, three inning. And he's one batter away, Tito Fuentes, from getting that one, two, three inning. Two, four, and he will get it. It's ground ball to first. Garvey steps on the bag. It is a one, two, three inning finally for Sutton. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. Still five, nothing. Willie Davis is now the batter. Let's double check and make sure there's nothing funky about that. I thought it might have been a little bit out of focus on the chart, showing the chart, so I apologize if that's the case. Getting that thing back in focus. Willie Davis is the batter. Jim Barr, 1-9, and that's a 1-3 to three triple. That's an 18, so he'll settle with the double. How about that? Willie Davis a triple and now a double. So he is on cycle alert. I've never had a cycle before in any computer or cards and dice game that I've played. So this that would be a first. But long way to go. He's got to get that home run. The single will be easy, but he's got to get that home run. Here's Canazero, his first at bat since replacing the injured Ferguson. 5-7, he did all right. One to three is a double. That's a single two stars. Now it's good enough to score the run. And the Dodgers are finally on the board. Chris Canazero. An RBI single. It was a 190 hitter, but he found a good one that time. Cuts the lead to 5-1. to one. Canazero will not be held, obviously. Here's Willie Crawford. 3-7 for Crawford. That's a single two stars, and that's going to put runners at the corners. Don't sleep on the Dodgers just yet. So runners are at the corners for Steve Garvey. Crawford will be held at first base, but he won't go anywhere. Down, Still down 5-1. to one. You don't want to run yourself out of an inning. Any. Here's Barr. 5-4. That is a ground ball third base X. We are looking at Goodson, who's a 4-E-41. The infield is back for the double play. 4-E-41. 
Four and a ten will be interesting. He probably will be a force play. Four and a ten. Actually, it's going to be a throw to first only. So a four and a ten is a throw to first only. That's an eight. He's an E41. E41, there is no eight. But it's going to be a throw to first only. Five to three is the only play. Canazero will score. Crawford will take second base. So it's an RBI ground out by Steve Garvey. Cuts the lead to five to two. Only one out. Ken McMullen, your batter. Bar one, chance for a wild pitch on a one or a two. And it's not going to be a wild pitch. So bar to McMullen. 5-4. That's another ground ball third base X. With the runner at second. Infield, of course, was normal. So it's ground ball third base X for Goodson again. A 4-E-41. 4 and a 17. He'll get to that. That's a G-1. Yeah, but that's a 5. It's a rare play. So a G-1 rare play. We'll see what happens. G1, if there's a runner on first, there's not a runner on first. No runner on first, the batter grounds out with the runner's holding. So he's going to hold. So McMullen grounds to third, and the runner at first base, Crawford, will hold. That is out number two. He holds second base for Bill Russell. All right, so Russell... With two outs, trying to get a two-out run batted in. Bar 5-6. That's a ground ball to short. That's going to end the inning. But the Dodgers do pick up two runs to cut the lead to 5-2 to two after four innings of play from Dodger Stadium. And now Sutton is back out. A little bit of hope with those runs being scored. And he will be facing Gary Maddox to start the top of the fifth. Giants five, Dodgers two. Sutton to Maddox. One seven, that's a fly ball to left field. Hauled in by Buckner. One away. That'll bring up Stretch, Willie McCovey. Doubled and flown to center. 1-7, he's going to ground to second. Lopes is there, two down. Sutton going for a second consecutive 1-2-3 inning. All he has to do is get by Ed Goodson, who's one for two. 5-11, that is a strike him out. How about that, Sutton? Turn it around, but is it too little too late? They trail 5-2. to two. Just wonder if the Dodgers have enough firepower to score five runs against Jim Barr. Sutton will lead off. He'll stay in the game. He will lead off. He's hit pitcher in card number one. Four ten, and that's a fly to left field. All down there by the Sarge, Gary Matthews, one away. Top fielder, Davy Lopes. Lopes is one for two. One seven, he's going to ground it back to Jim Barr. And quickly two up and two down for Bill Buckner. Three six for Buckner is a one to six single. That's a five. So Bill Buckner. Two out single. If he can get the jump, he's gonna try it. He needs a five to get the lead. Needs a five. He doesn't get it, so he will not go anywhere. But he will be held. And here's Willie Davis. He of the double and the triple. Hunting a cycle. 
six eleven. That's a one for a double. Anything else is a single. That's a ten. So it's a single. So he's got three fourths of the cycle right there. Just needs the home run, and I will have a first. Never had a cycle before. It's best chance I've had in a while. You know he's going to get at least one more at bat, so he's got a homer in that last at bat to get the cycle. Not likely, but you never know. So runners are at the corners with two outs. And Willie Davis could be looking to get the lead here. He needs a two through five to do so. He does not get the lead, so he will hold. And Chris Canizero, he had an RBI single his only time up since replacing the injured Ferguson. 4-5, and this is a ground ball to short. Chuck and Chris Spire, he's a 2-E-36. 2-10, he'll get to that. 2-10 is a G-1, and that is a 13, and he is an E-36. Whoops, short stop. E-36 and a 13. Right there, E-36 and a 13 is a one-base error on Chris Spire, and that's going to keep that's going to score the run. It's going to keep the inning going. Buckner will score from third. Davis takes second. And all of a sudden, it's a 5-3 to three game. For Willie Crawford. The tying runs are on base for Willie Crawford. Davis is held at second base. Barr trying to bear down. 2-6, and that's a walk. It's going to load the bases. Bases are loaded for Steve Garvey with two outs. And now Giants a little nervous. Bar to Garvey. Garvey is 0 for 2. 6-6, six, six, and he is 0 for 3 now. It's a ground ball to short. Dot there, but he's not tired, so that's going to end the inning. Dodgers come away with a run, but, boy, they could have had a whole lot more. But I guess when you don't have anything, take what you can get. So at the end of five, it is five to three. We got ourselves a ball game all of a sudden. Five to three. Favor the Giants, who lead the Dodgers by four games. And Gary Matthews. We'll lead it off against Don Sutton to start the sixth. And I'll check once again, make sure we're okay. Looks like we are. Sutton to Matthews, 4-5. And that's an in-home run chance, 1-7. to seven. That's a 3. The Sarge has normal power, and the Sarge says so long. Salute that. It's a home run, and now Sutton is tired because he just gave up his sixth run. So Sutton is now tired, and the bullpen for the Dodgers is active in a hurry. And let's look at the Dodger bullpen, see who they have available. They have five relievers available, two from the right side, three from the left side. The right-handers are George Culver and Charlie Huff. The left-handers are Jim Brewer, Pete Rickert, and Doug Rao. So it looks like, and Brewer's are closer, so we're not going to him. Coming up for the Giants. We got some lefties coming up, so Pete Rickert is loosening in the bullpen. And he would be coming in very shortly. Sutton. If we get a dot on Sutton's card now, it's going to come into effect. Here's Chris Spire. 2-4. That's a ballpark single check. First time we had a ballpark effect check. Singles are one to nine for a righty. That's a fifteen, so he will line it to short. We're one away. One down, and that's going to bring up Dave Rader, the catcher. 0 for 2 in the ball game. 5-6, and that's a strikeout. Boy, he just missed that dot right there. He, but he does strike out Rader for two outs, and that's going to send up the pitcher Jim Barr. Two outs and the base is empty. Pitcher hitting card number two. But we're under Sutton. 4-7. That's a 1 for a double, but that's a 2 there. So it's a fly to center. And that's going to end the inning. 
But the home run off the bat of the Sarge makes the lead now 6-3, to three, and that's going to be it for Don Sutton. He is scheduled to bat third coming up, and he will be pinch hit for, and Pete Rickard would be the new pitcher. So we close the book on Sutton. And we look at his numbers. I'll use the, I'll cheat and use the computer to check the box score instead of having to do it manually. So Sutton is going to go six innings pitched. He's going to give up six hits. Six runs, only four were earned. One walk and five strikeouts, and he is on the hook for the loss. Pete Rickert will be the new pitcher in the seventh. He's got a minus five hold rating to go along with Canazero's plus one, so that's a minus four to try to hold the running game down. But right now the Dodgers need a pinch hitter in this inning because the pitcher spot comes up third. So we go to their bench, show you who they have available. Ron Say from the right side, Lee Lacey from the right side, Manny Moda from the right side, and Tom Pachorek from the right side. Left-hander is Von Joshua. So Joshua, the only lefty available. But Manny Moda is kind of like the pinch hitting extraordinaire. So we're going to pinch hit with Manny Moda when the time comes. Right now it's McMullen, Russell, and then Moda. McMullen, Russell, and Moda against Jim Barr. So McMullen is your batter. And he'll be facing Jim Barr. 3-5, and that's a 1 for a home run. Anything else will be a double. So McMullen with a leadoff double. And Dodgers are saying, don't count us out yet. We still got some life. Here's Bill Russell. McMullen will not be held at second base. Bar to Russell. 1 7, and that's a 1 to 4 double. 8, though, is a single two stars. That'll score McMullen. And the lead is cut to 6 to 4. And the Dodgers are right back in this game. And now the pinch hitter, Manny Moda will be coming on for the Dodgers to do what he does best, which is pinch hit. At least late in his career, that's what he did best. 319, no homers, 23 runs driven in for Manny Moda. He had no home runs on the season, so he cannot hit a home run, but he's a very good hitter. So Manny Moda Going to pinch hit here with Russell at first. Now Russell has to be thinking about possibly getting a lead because you get that plus four boost. If he gets the lead, it'll be a one to eighteen. Definitely worth trying for two through five or a twelve. That's a seven, so he cannot get the lead. He will hold at first base and Manny Motor, the pinch hitter, stepping to the plate. Bar. 211, and that's a ground ball third base B, fielder's choice. 5 to 4. So the, the faster runner, Russell, is eliminated, and Manny Moda, the slower runner, is at first base. He will not be held. And here's Davy Lopes. One out, and the score is 6 to 4. 5-7. That's a 1-3 to three double. 9 is a single two stars. That's going to put Moda over to third on the base hit by Lopes. So how about that? Now Lopes is looking to get a, get a chance to catch the lead. He's already stole one base. Needs a 2 through 6 or a 12. That's a 9. He does not get the lead, so he will hold. Infield is a double play depth for the Giants. Now the Giant bullpen is loosening as all of a sudden they they feel the stress of their starter starting to lose it. So in their bullpen, right-handers Don McMahon, Elias Sosa, 
Randy Moffitt, Don Carithers, and Charlie Williams. They're all right-handers. No lefties in the bullpen. All right-handers. So they are going to call on not Ed McMahon, but Don McMahon loosening in the pen. So Don McMahon is loosening, and he would be coming in. Maybe this inning, maybe not, depending on how the rest of the inning plays out. Runners at the corners and one out with the score six to four. They are going to look for the double play. Play back for the double play against Bill Buckner. Four seven, and that is a one to two single. Anything else he lines to third, it's a second, but that's a one. So it's a single one star off the bat of Buckner. RBI single makes it a 6-5 to five game now. With Lopes stopping at second, Moda scores on the single by Buckner. And boy, Barr, you wonder how much longer they're going to stick with him. They'll give him one more batter, I guess. Lopes is being held at second base. Bar 2-4, and that's a ground ball to the pitcher B. So Lopes will take third. Davis will reach on the fielder's choice, and Buckner is out 1-4. to four. And that was Davis needing a home run to get the cycle, but he might get another at bat, too. You never know. Probably will, the way this game is going. So the fielder's choice is going to go 1-4. to four. And now with two outs, it is Chris Canazero. And can Barr get out of it against Chris Canazero? Runners at the corners and two away. Two are already in. One five, and Canazero grounds to second to end the inning. But two runs come in. It's a six to five ball game. Dodgers right back in the thick of things. And now coming in to pitch for the Dodgers will be Pete Rickard. The question is, will there be a double switch? Uh, no, there will not. So Pete Rickard is going to come on to pitch for the Dodgers. He enters with the replay with a record of 2-3, and 4.09 ERA, and one save. Pete Rickard. Jim Barr, his day is done. And Don McMahon will come in next inning, the bottom of the seventh. So Barr is going to go six innings, and we'll go the again. We'll cheat and go to computer box score to get the totals, and also make sure it, that I don't miss anything. So Barr, six innings pitched, eleven hits. He started to get pounded there at the end. Five runs, four of them earned. Oops, not a very good thing there. Five runs, four earned. Uh, one walk and no strike. He didn't strike anybody out. One walk and no strikeouts. Very unusual not to have any strikeouts. But that's the way it goes. So now we start at the top of the seventh. It'll be Gary Thomason, a left-hander, to face Rickert. It'll be Thomason, Fuentes, and Maddox. And then McCovey and Goodson. So in the first five batters, three are left-handed, which is why they went with Rickard. So Thomason facing Rickard here to start the top of the seventh of a 6-5 to five game. 1-8 for Thomason is a ground ball back to Rickard. One away. One down, and that brings up Tito Fuentes. He's one for three. Three seven, ground ball to second. Lopes is there, two down. So Rickard's off to a good start. And that brings up Gary Maddox, center fielder. He singled, reached on an error, flew to left, scored two runs. Rickard five five as a fly ball to right field. That's a one two three inning for Pete Rickard. So 
So that's going to do it for the Giants here in the top of the seventh. Six to five ball game, seventh inning stretch time. And I'm going to prepare to stretch with them. In fact, I'm going to call, pause the video and then come back with the new pitcher for the Giants, Don McMahon. We'll get his numbers, set up his time in the ball game. And then we'll get ready for the bottom of the seventh. Seventh inning stretch is complete. And now we're ready to get underway with the bottom of the seventh. And we'll look at the new pitcher, Don McMahon, for the Giants. McMahon enters the game. This is just his, uh, going to be, he's only pitched five innings so far. Real world. Uh, I'm sorry, in relief in uh, the replay. In real world, he was 4 0, oh, six saves, and a 150 ERA. Uh, in the replay, he's only pitched five innings. He has an ERA of zero, and he's got two saves. Uh, he is not the main closer, but he certainly um, you know, is an effective reliever. And he's going to be facing Willie Crawford, Steve Garvey, and Ken McMullen here in the bottom of the seventh of now a 6-5 to five game. It was 5 nothing at one point. But then all heck broke loose. And the catcher hold rating, McMullen, uh, McMahon rather, is a zero hold rating, and Raiders a plus two, so it's a it's a two factor instead of a four factor. That'll help a little bit better holding the running game. So McMahon to Crawford, four eight, and that's a strikeout. So the first battery face as he strikes out Crawford. Obviously not tired of being the first battery faces, and here's Steve Garvey, but Dodgers one swing away from tying this ball game. Here is Garvey. 1-5. He's going to strike out. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for McMahon. And somewhere Jesse the Body Ventura is going, Come on, McMahon! And here's Ken McMullen. 2-4. And that is a fly to right to end the inning. So it's a 1-2-3 inning for McMullen. Very quickly done there. And we played seven, a one to three inning for McMahon, I should say. We played seven, it's six to five. Rickard's going to come back out and only face three batters. And he's going to be facing McCovey, Goodson, and Matthews. Two out of three are left handed. So he's going to stay in there and see if he can't pitch him through the eighth inning as well. He does bat second next inning. Rickard to McCovey, 5 11. That's a ballpark single check. For lefties, it's 1-15, to 15, so that's definitely going to be a single for McCovey on the ballpark single check. Right-hander, that would have been an out, but left-hander, it's a single. And now here's Ed Goodson. McCovey not going to be held. Rickert to Goodson. 4-7, and that's a strikeout. So Rickert... With the K on Goodson, one away. That brings up the Sarge, Gary Matthews. And Field looking to turn two to get out of the inning. 4 11 against a right hander is a ground ball shortstop B. Fielder's choice, 6 to 4. We're out number two. Matthews, the new runner, he's a B. He has a chance to get the lead. If he gets the lead, though, it's a minus four. So a total of minus six would be a one to 11, but with two outs, they might try it anyway. Needs a four or a six. He got the lead. He got a four. So he's a 17. 
Oh, let's turn the sound down on the computer here. I don't need that there. All right, so 17 is where he starts since he got the lead. Minus 2 for being held is a 15, and then minus 4 from Rickard is an 11 from Rickard and uh, Cannon Zero combination. It's an 11. So 1 to 11, and the Sarge will steal second base, 12 or higher. He's out, and the inning's over. He's out, and the inning's over. So caught stealing. And the out's going to go 2 to 4 as Lopes puts on the tag. Giants try to be aggressive, but did not pay off. And that's going to end the inning. That'll do it for Rickard. He's going to go two innings. And he will give up one hit, no runs, uh, no walks, one strikeout. And they will pinch hit for Rickard in this bottom of the eighth coming up. McMahon coming out for his second inning of work. And he'll be facing Russell, a pinch hitter, and then Lopes. So we need a pinch hitter for the Dodgers. And we'll see who they might want to go to. They've used Manny Mota. The only lefty on the bench is Joshua, who is a 252 hitter. Pashorik is 262. But I think Joshua being left-handed, they're going to play the odds and go with Von Joshua. So Joshua will pinch hit here in the eighth inning after Russell leads off. It'll be Russell, Joshua, and Lopes due up against McMahon in the bottom of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth. Six to five ball game. Nip and tuck. 2-5, and that's a line out to third. So he lines it right to Goodson for out number one. And now for Pete Rickard, he will be called back, and Von Joshua will be the pinch hitter. On the regular season, he was a 252 hitter, two homers, 17 runs driven in. On the replay in 91 at-bats, he's a 231 hitter. No homers and six runs driven in. So Bond, Joshua, pinch hitting against McMahon. 6-9. Ground ball shortstop X. That is Spire. He's already made one error so far. He's 2-E36. That is a 14. That should be a good play. That 10. You usually don't get too many errors on a 10. So shortstop 2 and a 14 is a G1. And then shortstop with a 10. Even on a 36, there's no 10. So it's a good play for Spire, and the pinch hitter Joshua is retired. So two down, and that's going to send up Davy Lopes with two outs and the base is clear. Let's see if Lopes can do anything to get something started. 6-7 against McMahon is a ground ball to short, and that's going to end the inning. So McMahon, a masterful two innings of pitching in relief. In fact, both relief pitchers were outstanding. And we go to the ninth. Score still 6-5. to five. Closed the book on McMahon. He went two innings. And let's see, he struck out two. Didn't give up anything else. And now we need a pitcher for the Dodgers in the top of the ninth for Rickard. And as we go to their bullpen... It's going to be Spire, Raider, and a pinch hitter. So it looks like it's going to be old knuckleballer Charlie Huff coming out. He will be the new pitcher. Knuckleballer Charlie Huff. He's a plus six hold, unfortunately, for the Dodgers. So he's a plus five. And he'll be facing Chris Spire to start the ninth. So let's put him in the game on the computer, Charlie Huff. Get his numbers. On the replay, Charlie Huff is 5-1 and one with a 1.59 ERA and two saves. So Charlie Huff, top of the ninth, 6-5 to five game here from Dodger Stadium. 
McMahon and Rickard both pitch admirably. Two shutout frames. Keeping the score right where it was. And we're going to have to move this over just a hair. Whoop, wrong way. Just a hair, I think, to make sure the cards all fit. So I think that's okay now. Ah, let's tighten it up a little bit here. Okay. If any of the dice get over here on this far corner, I'll move them. But I want the cards to make sure they're showing there. So Huff against Spire. Top of the nine, six to five Giants. Two six for Spire is a strikeout. So one away. And that will send up Dave Rader. And then a pinch hitter coming up for the Giants against Huff. We'll figure out who that's going to be. Huff, 3-3 three, three for Rader. That's a walk. So he's going to walk the catcher, Rader. So a one-out walk to Rader who will not be held. He's not a very good base runner at all. He will not be held. So now we need a pinch hitter for the Giants, and we'll look and see who they want to go to. Off the bench, do they go with the lefty? Could be going to Howorth, the lefty, possibly. Unless they want to go for power and go for Dave Kingman, who's feast or famine. But I think the smart money would probably be on, well, Jimmy Howorth's not a very good hitter. They're going to go with Mike Phillips. He's a 240 hitter, so they're going to go with Mike Phillips, a lefty. He will pinch hit. I think he later played for the Mets and the Cardinals at, at one point. So Phillips, pinch hitting here in the ninth. With a runner at first in Dave Rader, who's not being held. Huff. That's, that was a five, in case you didn't see it. So Phillips, Huff to Phillips. That is a six-five against a left-hander. Ground ball shortstop X, but nobody's being held. But it is going to Russell, and he's made two errors already in this game. A 2E31, but he could turn a double play, too, just as easily. That is a total of 11, and that's a 10 on the D20. So a 2-10. 210 is a G1. As long as it's not an error, it'll be a double play. That's an 11. He's an E31. There is no 11, so it's a 643 double play to end the inning. So Charlie Huff gets the pinch hitter Phillips to ground into a 643 twin killing. And that sets everything up for the bottom of the ninth. Nothing doing for the Giants there. So now the Giants will need a pitcher to come in and try to clean up in the ninth. And it looks like, would it be Elias Sosa? Is he their closer? Let's take a look and see who they have left in the bullpen. They got Carruthers, a righty. Everybody's a righty. Williams, Randy Moffitt had 14 saves. Elias Sosa had 18 saves. But Randy Moffat had a better ERA. Uh, let's see. Actually, Randy Moffat is not even showing available on here. My bad. On the computer, he's showing like he's not available. So I'm not sure if he is or he isn't. Maybe it was an oversight on the computer. I don't know. But I thought he was available, but apparently he's not. So we're going to have to go with Elias Sosa. We have no choice. Randy Moffat's not on the roster. So it is Elias Sosa by default. Elias Sosa, and he's a minus one hold with a plus two, so that makes that a one. So Elias Sosa is going to come in and try to save it for the Giants. On the replay, Sosa is four and two with a 4-4-0 ERA and nine saves. In real world, he was 10 and four with 18 saves and a 3-2-8 ERA. So Sosa is in. And he's going to be facing here in the ninth Buckner, Davis, and Canna Zero. So Davis has another chance to hit that home run and get that cycle. And boy, would it be a big one. It would tie the game. Or if Buckner got on, even win the game. So, But we're having pipe dreams when we start thinking about that kind of stuff. So Sosa to Buckner, bottom of the ninth, 6-5. to five. 3 10 for Buckner, and that's a ground ball to short. So a grounder to Spire. 
one away. And now here's Willie Davis. If he hits a home run, he'll have the cycle. To hit the home run, though, it's going to be tough. He has to get a home run off of Sosa's card against the lefties, which he only has a spot right here at 5-5. Five five. That's the only home run opportunity. And on his own card, he would have to get a 110 or a 111 ball and have the ballpark come to his favor. So and he hit 16 on the season. So. Or I take it back, he's got a home run chance here at 8 and 9. To, uh, I'm sorry, on 8 as well. So he needs a column 1 big time is what he needs. Doesn't get it. It's a 4-6. That's a fly to center. So, so much for the cycle. Came close but couldn't get the home run portion. And now here's Canna Zero. And you can't pinch hit for Canna Zero because he's the only catcher you have left. So despite his really bad average... They really have no choice. So Sosa to Canna Zero. 3-7. It's a 1-7 single. That's a 4. So Canna Zero. How about that? A 1-7 single on a 3-7. And the D20 is a 4. So it is a single for Canna Zero. How about that? Canna Zero's gotten two hits. He's two for four since coming in for the injured Ferguson. So... Talk bad about him and he gets a hit. Now the winning run is at the plate in Willie Crawford. Crawford, 295 hitter, although he hasn't done much in this game. He is one for three with a walk and a single. Sosa now against the lefty Crawford. Can of zero not being held on. Sosa to Crawford, 5-9, and that is a strikeout to end the ball game. So Elias Sosa strikes out Crawford to end the ball game. And the Giants hang on, literally, by the score of 6-5. to five. And I'll be right back with the totals. All right, let's look at the totals in the ball game for the Giants. Six runs, seven hits, one error. They left three on base. Dodgers, five runs, 12 hits, two errors. They left nine on base. Winning pitcher Jim Barr, he improved to 11 and 7. Losing pitcher Don Sutton drops to 11 and 10. And Elias Sosa picks up his 10th save of the season. Home runs in the game, only one, Gary Matthews. His home run in the sixth proved to be the winning run as that got him the sixth run they needed, not knowing, of course, the Dodgers were going to get the two runs there. Uh, player of the game, it could give it to Sarge. He had a double and a home run. He's certainly a candidate, I would think, to be in that running. Uh, Willie Davis, of course, three for five, but in a losing cause. So I'm thinking about the Sarge, Gary Matthews, getting the player of the game. And again, his home run is what did it. His home run in the, to lead off the sixth off of Sutton was the difference in the game. So with that victory... The Giants now, in the standings, take a five-game lead over the Dodgers. Giants are 64 and 38. Dodgers drop to 59 and 43. So Giants are eight games better. I'm sorry, the Giants are six games better than what they were in real world at this time. Dodgers are five games worse. That's an 11-game difference because in real world the Dodgers. We're leading the Giants by six games at this point, but it's been the script's been flipped, and the Giants have uh, put the rest of the National League West on notice. The Cincinnati Reds had a real hot second half. They've won five games in a row, but they are still 11 games back because the Giants have won five in a row. Also, now make it, you know, with this win, they've won five in a row. So the Reds won five in a row, but can't catch up any ground at all, and. Uh, they just uh, are having a hard, hard time. The real pennant race, other than these two teams, is in the National League East where four teams are within four games of each other. So that's where we stand here on this one. Next Saturday, let me look at next Saturday. Hopefully we'll be back to the live uh, streaming, back to normal like usual. 
that I won't have all these things popping up on me to take away my schedule. So if we look at next Saturday's games on the schedule, it will be the Boston Red Sox at the Baltimore Orioles. Boston Red Sox at the Baltimore Orioles. And the reason that is being played is because in the standings, the Red Sox lead the Orioles by seven. The Orioles are in second place. They are seven games back. So Baltimore gets to host Boston and next weekend and see if they can make up some ground. So we'll see if they do or not. But from here, from Chavez Ravine and Dodger Stadium, it's the Giants six, the Dodgers five, Gary Matthews, player of the game, with the home run and a double and two runs batted in, one run scored. Winning pitcher Jim Barr, losing pitcher Don Sutton, the save to Elias Sosa. So until next time, enjoy playing whatever game you choose to play, how we choose to play it, and I will see you all down the road.